Whereas the Goblin line, which cost us $24.99, I would have happily paid 30 quid for. I would have paid more, because that route's mega. Yeah, plus, I bet people were moaning it's only 70 miles, but you still get a good. You still get a good. Um, I think it's like 45 minutes play, of playtime. Exactly, yes. Yeah, hello there, everyone. It's Sunday. You know what that means. They finally fixed it. Yes, folks, they finally fixed the Peninsula Corridor. Oh, happy days. So, let's go and do it. Let's go do scenario. We should have done uh, a lot earlier in the year. Well, actually, the uh, last year, I should say. And it is uh, this one here, Ballast and Actor. You have been tasked with uh, cutting trains of aggregate cars and hauling them to the sector and line to is used for maintenance. All right, then we can do that. Grab me a ticket, get in line. Sheldon will be here as well to have some fun. I think it's uh, only right we do this now. We did the other one yesterday. Well, I know one thing. I know why they're all here. But we're going to give you a few minutes first. We're going to give you a few minutes. We're going to let you all get your popcorn, get your drinks. Go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. Make sure you have an empty bladder. Because you're going to wet yourself when you hear this. Not only are you going to wet yourself, but you're going to get angry as well. I can promise you. This is... This right here, this video, may be the final mention you ever see of Rivet on this channel. I know we've bought the Benita line. But that came free. Thanks to a very good friend from my birthday. But this, this may, this may be it. This... Because we're recording this on Monday, but the five circle goes out tomorrow. Yes, we're recording this on Monday, the twenty fifth of March, uh, which is uh, which is which is a uh, Monday, but uh, today is Sunday. Know what that means? Uh, and literally, like I said, you you may not hear anything of, of Rivet on this channel after this, because what I read. Well, I'll let you make up your own minds. But uh, welcome the Peninsula Corridor back. I know one thing. What's that? With Rivet. What's that? Apparently on the 170, they didn't get the, uh, light, the thing around the lights right. We're going to get to that. Is that one of them? Of a list. Of a list. Well, at least one thing they did get right. What's that? The fourth rail bridge, they didn't paint it green. <laughs> they did it, did they? <laughs> uh -huh. No, 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 no. Trust me, trust me. Wait till you hear some of this stuff. Because we're going to go through each little... I was joking on that. No, no, it's not funny. It is not funny. Um, but yeah, Dovetail, they finally fixed the Peninsula Corridor. We can finally do some scenarios there. We're still waiting for the clinch field. Um, hopefully... Well, I don't know, it may be because it's an older route from Trains in World 2, they did say they would do nothing with Trains in World 2 routes, so it may be that the Clinchfield never gets finished, unfortunately. Which wouldn't actually be a bad thing, because the last scenario is two hours long. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, by the way, this is uh, switcher we got. This is the switcher, the MPC... Hold on. The MPD-15C switcher, yes. Because we call them shunty locomotives in the UK, but they call them switches. Yes. They don't. They don't call them um, sidings in the US. They call them yards. Yes. Well, no. They call them spurs. I think that's a line off the main line. Oh, is that German? Right. First delivery will be to Redwood City. Let's go, Redwood City. I think it's both. Americans and Germans call them spurs, which is a line off the main line. It. It could be. It uh, it potentially uh, could be. I, uh, or spur siding, I which is Keep just... in mind, as you travel along, other services will be travelling along the same track, so you may need to divert your path. Or maybe spur sidings to get off the main Wait line. Wait for the line to clear before leaving the yard. Yeah. That, that's fair enough. That's fair enough, uh, exactly. We'll just creep forward. We may have clearance already. Do we have clearance, Clarence? Yeah. Roger, Roger. What's, what's our vector, Victor? <laughs> uh... Uh, proceed as signals indicates. Yes, we have clearance. We're going. So they're plain terms, and because the people in the cockpit are named after them. Yes. 
No, 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 they're not plain terms. Mm. But their names sounded like plain terms. So one guy was Clarence, yeah. which sounds like clearance. We have clearance Clarence, right? One guy was called Roger. Well, you say Roger when you finish yeah. your airport. Roger, Roger. Right? Roger that. Yeah, Roger that. Huh? And then you had Victor, which sounds like Vector. What's our Vector, Victor? Huh? Airplane was so, so hilarious. It was, uh, what's this uh, message here on Twitter? Ah, oh, it's just Shadowstar91. It's like you can't make an airplane remake these days. You really couldn't. I don't think you'd want to make an airplane remake without Leslie Nielsen anyway. I I think you, you have to have Leslie Nielsen to do um, an airplane uh, remake. I think the only way they got got away with the second one because they had William Shatner in it. Yes, they had, they went all out with the second one and I think the second one uh, bombed. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It is time, folks! I know there's a dark trade there. Yeah, so this guy's Irish. Right. So, this kicked off after the preview stream. On Thursday. On Thursday. And it has been going on ever since. It's been slowly going on. But today's really hit. But um, I think uh, when I saw through this, I had to uh, say something. So, the Fred... Basically, are you the one that caused the chaos? No. I, I am innocent this time. I am innocent! Okay. You apologise for that accusation. And not the Saki one either. No. Good, alright, okay, fair enough. So, no, this was started by the Irish um, lad, MS Hoare. That's H-O-R, YouTube. Not what you thought I said, even though it does say Hoare. As in Hoarder. Yes, as in Hoarder. Uh, MS Hoare, yeah, in fact, that's probably Microsoft Hoarder. So we'll go with that. Yeah. MS Hoarder 31293. <clears throat> so, it actually goes on a bit here, so I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. I, like many of us on here, were less shocked by the frankly <coughs> embarrassing attempt at a route that was shown off last night. I have a very simple question I would like an answer for, and that is simply, why? Why would a company want to show off something as unfinished and thrown together looking as Rivet's Vice Circle and expect people to pay good money for? Why wasn't the correct build shown last night? And if that was the build that will be shipping, who signed off it on it as an acceptable quality for paying customers? Why is no the answer Rivet get give to everything that's missing from the route an example of the lack of for example being the lack of aircraft at Mount Edinburgh Airport. I believe from memory Jasper said it was down to performance issues. How is that acceptable in an area as barren and empty as that section? If you can't get something as basic looking as that to run at 60 frames per second in 2024, you shouldn't be in business in the first place. Let's not forget we have aircraft coming in and going from Gatwick on London's commuter route in a much more detailed area than that. Why would DTG allow Rivet to take this DLC off their hands knowing it would be so highly anticipated in the player base and knowing Rivet's poor history with UK based routes? And finally, we, why should we trust a developer who we were happy with the mess they left with the Edinburgh Glasgow route? All the signs point to the fact that this to be released at an unfinished and unacceptable stage and that's how it will remain. I actually feel sorry for Scott Rail in a way. They have been represented in this game with three routes and only one of them is any good. The rubbish scenario is actually a perfect metaphor for this route. So I challenge DTG or Rivet or both to delay this and fix it by, by doing so. You may redeem yourself somewhat, if not well, we know for sure, than what you think of us as players and your game. So in English, it sounds like the... Five circles gone the same way as the Edinburgh Glasgow and the Cathcart Circle. Down the crapper. Yes. <coughs> so, sound like that. Your thoughts after hearing that opening statement, or should I say, opening um, diatribe? Because that that was a lot to take in. It's got a point though. It's like we keep saying, why do Dovetail Games 
keep getting stuff from Rivet, but it's not that good, and they don't bother to annoy you. Exactly. Um, someone then says, oh geez, it's actually that bad, as a question. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, someone then said, watch the stream. Um, someone then said, since this was still a development build, noted as test two when it was run, I do have some hope for next Tuesday it will be better. So did someone say this was a test build on the stream? Uh, it said it, um, it was noted as test two. So obviously if they didn't say it, it looks like it was noted that it was still in development. Which is So if it was acknowledged as a test build, then that's fair enough. That's fair enough, exactly. Um, because it's like uh, the adverts you get, it's like some people say actual gameplay footage and some will say it's not. Yes, exactly. Um, you get a lot of adverts that say that on the TV, don't you? Yeah. So, so, some will say not actual gameplay or something yeah. in the little small print at the bottom. Uh, Trainiac, he's well known. He's um, well known for some uh, S stirring. I do feel bad for Scott Rell. I've seen them do some promotion for the route on Twitter and knowing how they bad have. they have, and knowing how bad the reaction has been is disappointing. I hope they're too busy to notice or care. And you're about to show on Twitter that... Um, no, I want to see who actually won the uh, free copy. Oh, who won the free copy? Yeah, because they were doing a... Uh, you know, you retweet it, you like it, and yeah. you subscribe. Oh, do all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I know it wasn't us. And if it is, I'd send it back. <laughs> Why did we get free coffee? We... I'll take a free coffee? Yeah, I just said free coffee. Yeah, we... Free coffee. Uh, Lord knows we... Um, you, now you said something else that was free then. Um, are you trying to look for it? Are you looking for Rim? Are you looking for Scott Rail? Ah, right, okay. Uh, Scott Rail. There they are. Have they announced the winner yet? Should be today. Uh, looking for a new gig. Oh, yeah, they're, they're ripping into Daniel Ricardo. They always they always rip into Daniel Ricardo. All right, Mike, get ready. Come. It should have been this morning. Yes. Uh, so it looks like they haven't... Um, Announced it yet? No, they haven't announced it yet. Unless it's in replies. Okay, no. I'll have a look while you're doing that. Okay then. So, next up, um, Atherian King, he's another uh, well known member. Um, he quotes Trainiac and by saying, hopefully, stuff like this doesn't have repercussions on licensing. It's not the first time that this has happened. QA seem pretty non existent or may as well have been used. Uh, what's QA? I haven't a clue. Is it question and answers? No, it's, it's QA, not Q and A, it's just QA. Repeat that again, sorry. Uh, it says, hopefully stuff like this doesn't have repercussions on licensing. It's not the first time this has happened. QA seem pretty non-existent, or may as well be if have been used. Ah, it must be Q and A, question and answers. Yeah. There must have been a, a Q and A for it. You notice it's in the chat during during the stream they say well why are you because they do ask about rivets and all that why, yeah. why are you and they ignore it yeah they ignore it they shouldn't they shouldn't um bravo to i very much doubt it will probably um why why i hope it won't or why it could yeah okay oh here we go so this is this is uh, regarding the goblin line which will be running the hover if we do decide to get um thingy and we will leave our decision till probably later on Tuesday when I'm back from uh, work so we'll probably buy it if we do Wednesday um, someone said don't let them see the brilliant goblin line that has just been released which looks superb and can we just say we watched the preview of the goblin line it looked mega and plus I want to say something with that because I we yeah we did watch the uh, preview for that yes and even that said he used to live in later stone exactly and he re remembered the buildings that were in the backgrounds were there like not skyscrapers but like flat yeah it almost looked like he took charge of that route and said this must be this because he lived there and he said those flats that were like in the backdrop yeah he made sure they were detailed right <clears throat> yeah and which makes it doubly annoying for rivet because they're based in scotland they're based in Stirling. They're based in Stirling. Stirling's not far from the Five Circle. It's practically over the hills, as they would so say. So if you're based in Scotland, 
You should get that 100% accurate. Yes. But why not? Why not? It's, it's a great question. Why are you not getting it accurate? Um, what I cannot stop thinking about is Dovetail run this franchise, they will sign off this. Why on earth, knowing how it looks, would they think a player base would be happy? Surely someone would say, hang on, this is not up to spec compared to the last two releases. And they're absolutely right. And another thing that I remembered, you know the, when the uh, Rush Hour pack came out and there was all sorts of problems? Yes. And they literally sat down. They sat down, got serious with us and say it wouldn't happen again on their watch. And literally every rivet release since that, they turned their back on that answer. Yeah. And as someone who's not an ambassador, and I'll get onto that uh, in a second as well, as someone who's not, as two players that are not an ambassador on Trains in World 4, but heavily play this on weekends to entertain everyone, we want that question answered. Why are Dovetails sitting on their rear end? By the way, here comes uh, the thumbnail. Th this was always going to be the thumbnail as soon as oh, I saw this. Oh, that's lovely. As soon as I saw this, um, it was always going to be the thumbnail. Here we go. Boom. Boom shakalaka, baby. Is that supposed to be funny? No, it's not supposed to be funny, actually. It's just a boom shakalaka. <laughs> boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, laka. -la. There we go. That's the thumbnail. Sorted. I put the Tracy World logo in the corner. Um, yeah, no. As played, why... And I want... You, you want answers. You want to know why they're consistently going back and accepting Rivet's garbage as garbage. Don't restart the scenario. That is not the way to go. Thank you very much. So I'm just, uh, I was just checking something there. There we go. Uh, where we go? I See? There we go. This game's played by humans. This game's played by humans. So uh, we need the answer to that question. You, you got went back on your word after the absolute monstrosity was um, rush, hour. rush hour pack. Absolutely. And to be fair. They answered that with updating um, Dresden Risa by bringing out a better version. They was like, yeah, that version was rubbish. Here's a better version on a better spec. Yeah. And everyone's like, whoa, now this route looks amazing. So it's like they're sorting their own routes out, but blindsiding what Rivet is exactly. doing. Someone then quoted um, about the Goblin on this is exactly it. Rivet may be the developer, but DTG are still publishing it through their own stores and various platforms. Not like Train... Uh, I believe that's Train Sim Classic, isn't it? TSC. Yes. Where every Tom, ha Richard and Harry, obviously he can't say the word he wants to say there, can set up an e-store and put out payware with no oversight. In my honest opinion, the buck starts with DTG, and I hate to say it, the EP for going ahead and sanctioning this for release uh, unless the finished product is miraculously transformed from what I've was shown on stream, I highly doubt it anyway, it's still not acceptable quality for £30. And they're right. Whereas the Goblin line, which cost us £24.99, I would have happily paid £30 quid for. I would have paid more, because that route's mega. Yeah, plus, I bet people were moaning it's only 70 miles, but you still get a good... You still get a good... Um, I think it's like 45 minutes play of playtime. Exactly, yes. Um, I don't think this route even warrants it being assessed for a cost. It straight up fails at meeting Trains in 4 World standards, let alone matching the average DLC cost. This is the same as Mindtel Barn, in my honest opinion. Looks like it was made for Trains in World 2. Now that's not being fair to Mindtel Barn. Mindtel Barn's not bad. The, the problem with Mindtel Barn is it took a Schaffenberg hot bun off, which was from a Trains in World 2 route. Yes. So, that that's a bit unfair to the mind Barn, if I'm uh, being honest with you. Then, here's where it kicks off. Oh, Rivet. Rivet, get involved. Hey folks, hope you've seen our statement, but if not, here you go. Besides the things addressed in our update and not having airplanes at the airport, which I explained in detail of why and said we were trying to bring them back, what exactly is off? Please be more specific with your feedback. Fair question, isn't it? So they want the feedback? They want the feedback. Okay. Then, they get arrogant. 
Oh, and these I can make something better comments are always funny, but I get it. Not everyone can understand the effort that goes into something even remotely close to this. Oh boy. First yeah. of all, that statement reeked of so much arrogance. It is unbelievable. I mean... Uh, this is where he starts kicking off. Yeah. So basically they dig themselves a hole. Yeah, they've dug themselves a hole now. Now here comes a hole. Someone then asks, can someone confirm if Haymarket Depot will be populated with the same stock? It's pretty much never empty as well as Addy. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's true, Haymarket is never empty. Someone there goes, I'm going to leave the scenery out of this, since someone is likely already compiling a full sideshow of what issues there are. If it's a bit frightening, you need them pointing out though, if I'm being honest. I'll focus on life within the route. Firstly, what has gone wrong with the timetable? Yes, you have said you're adding something in the order of 40 services to the class 170. But why have you left them as an add them later project? Boom. Great question. That's not for <coughs> 158, is it? No, no, no. It, well, it could be, yes. Oh. ECS moves. Haymarket Depot is home of Scott Rail's 170 fleet. Why is it deemed okay to completely ignore it? Boom. Great question. Taking it up a notch, the depot is barren, but someone genuinely thought the tram depot being populated was more important. Yeah. Well, so he's going to be full of trams and not many trams exactly, operating. Yeah. Waverley slash Haymarket, there are 385 services in your own Edinburgh Glasgow route which have been left out here. Why? That's a great question. That's a great other DLCs which you see. And plus, you got Lynn Lift going there. Surely you, you can run 385s as AI. Exactly. Just Lynn Lift going. Exactly. Exactly. And not only that, you see other routes which other companies bring out. They'll say, "All oh, right, we, we've got this route here, but we need this. No problem. Have this." Goblin Line is exactly. I was about perfect. to say the Goblin go on, Line. Go on, go for it. Go for it. Because they, someone decided to put a bench on the East Coast Bay Line. And you can watch trains on the East Coast Bay Line with the Ted's 700s. And the Azumas. And the Zoomers go past. Exactly. And you've got the sheds as well on that, which, um, well, everyone's done a shed. But um, they work on that area as well. So I'm sorry, but to not have your own DLC in there is no excuse. No. That is no excuse. You can have the 385s in there as AI traffic. Exactly. There should be a constant flow of 170s, 385s in and out of Edinburgh. Railhead treatment train runs, freight, rail tours, steam services. Your own brand new engineering pack were all left out. Why? Again, fantastic question. Your own DLC is not even in the route. I am not wanted to be To hard. be fair though, the five circle does lack freight. It does, it does, that's to be fair. I'm not wanting to be harsh, I do feel for you having taken the brunt of the current storm, but what we were shown was so incredibly disappointing. Fact. Here we go then. It, it. Why somebody would show up to a public presentation with anything else than its best version of a product is a mystery to me. Serious people with real intentions to purchase are put off by the fails. Remember when Elon showed off the Cybertruck and said it had bulletproof windows, but they shattered. Maybe it's Spring Assany. I feel so too. Uh -huh. Then someone goes on with uh, Rivet's statement as well. A lot of places have very bad foliage, lacking grass and just looks very flat. You can see the edges of the world pretty close in some spots. I suggest taking a good hard look at the route just to fully populate it with foliage and detail instead of having large open areas taken up by one ugly grass texture. Some variety in grass colours would be nice too. Fair. Yeah. Fair statement. Uh, here we go. I would like to start off by saying nobody, I hope, blames the developers for this mess. My concerns are the management at Rivet Games and that the devs are not given enough time to flesh out the route properly. First off, the scenery is below par and is not trained in World Force standard. Notice the fields full of nothing, repeating textures, and the beach at Kinghorn 
looks more like mud than sand and I've got to agree I don't know if you can uh, see it there but my god I've seen better beaches when the red flags have been out on the beach that's disgusting mm. Next up is the ballast. Rivet have been using the same brown colour ballasting since West Cornwall Local and it's not nice to look at. Compare it with ones that DTG or just trains use, the difference is night and day. Well, yeah, so you're using <coughs> ballast from... You're using ballast from... Probably from Melton Quarry. Yeah. You're using ballast from a route that was... Ballast from, like, Cornwall, which is different ballast to compared to Scotland. Exactly. In I regards to the... Uh, sorry, carry on. I think they use, like, granite Yeah. for their ballast in Devon, Cornwall, that area. I think Scotland's different kind of ballast to what Cornwall is. Exactly. Oh, you're absolutely right. In regards to the timetable, while I appreciate your adding additional services, there's still tons of ECS freight moves not present. Finally, the on-train PIS for the Class 170 is inaccurate and you can... A plus. Yeah, you see the uh, things at the front there, those grey things. Those grey lights, yeah, you can see there. The, the, that's just completely wrong as well. Absolutely completely wrong. Another one uh, saying... And plus, the worst thing is, they do get Class 170s in Stirling. Yeah. Because sometimes if there's no HST to do the Inverness services... They'll put a 170 on it. And 170s go to Dundee as well. Yeah. <clears throat> From Glasgow. So they literally go through your hometown where you're making the games and you can't even be bothered to go to Stirling Station to see it for yourself. Yeah, not only that, right, <clears throat> they said they, they'd they done the sound different in the cab for the 170 because you can't hear it in there. I'm very, 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 very sorry there, Rivet. Me and him have been at the front of a Class 170 sat practically next door to the cab. We can still hear that turbo engine at the other end, at our end. So that's... And plus you can hear what's happening at the front of the train from inside the passenger carriage. Exactly. There is actually a quick story to this. Yes. Very quick. Go on then. Because one night I was travelling back, I think from Bristol, I was going through the chase. Yes. And as I was going through the chase from Hensford to Rushi Town... Yes. The next minute I heard was this big massive thud from the front of the train. It was a deer, wasn't it? It was an animal. I can't remember what it was now. Yeah. But you heard it. You heard that thud. So, th there's and no... I wasn't even in the cab when I heard that thud. There's there's no soundproofing in cabs. You thud. can't... Thud. 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 Yeah. Thud. 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 Um, in regards to absolutely no freight on this route in real life, unless it's a network rail train or somebody completely urgent it, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There's, there's practically... I think the only freight train that goes up that way anyway is a colas move. I think it's like... Oxen... Wells. Oxwell mains, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I was uh, Like thinking. tags or cement tags. Yes. Might get the odd intermodal diverting on there as well. In fact, let me pull up a tie table for... Well, we'll get on to more rivet bashing in a second, folks. So let me pull up a tie table for, like, uh, let's say, bar Markage. Markage, yeah, let's go... Oh, no, Kakadi, let's go Kakadi. KDY, yeah. KDY, K K KDY is good Cody. There you go. Let's go show. Monday may not be a good day for this, but I'll probably. Um, yeah, let, let, let's do Monday. All freight services. All freight services Monday. That's yeah. it, all day, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, all, all day. day freight services. Yeah, there you go. Actually, it should just give you all. Every, there you go. There, there it is, the Craig, uh, the Craig Inches um, to Oxwell Mains, there it is. Yeah, about 7 o'clock in the evening. About 7 o'clock in the evening, yeah. That, that's all... And sometimes you get the end of a boat to Garden, uh, that's the Royal Scotsman. Yeah. Which is not on the game yet. Not on the game yet, enough. no, fair enough. Uh, yeah, because most of the paths there are... And you get one from in the Keyfield Yard. Yeah. And you get a test train sometimes. You do. So... Which is the 950 property. Yeah. There's not much freight there. We accept that. That's fine. Let's uh, try Thursday. Uh, Mirror Hill Burnt Island, that I think is an uh, engineer's trade. Mm. So you get test trades there, your Royal Scotsman. And, <coughs> and the Oxford. Your Coders 1. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what I mean. So, yeah, there's no freight. We accept that. That's fine. 
Can I get back on to rivet bashing now? Just do a Tuesday, then we'll oh, go just on. do a Tuesday. Basically the same. The same, yeah. Basically Test the same. trade, one freight trade, that's it. Yeah. So, there you go. Right. Someone then picked up on the arrogant statement towards the end. I realise you might be frustrated by the backlash, but really? That's no way for a representative of any company to speak to its potential customers. Bang. Yeah. Bang. See, I like to tell customers at work, fuck off and go look for yourself. But I can't. You can't. You can't. Even though we've, we had a change around, like, months ago, we've had a change around in our store, so where people knew it was, mm. it's not there anymore. This was, like, months ago. But they still ask us, do you know where the tomato ketchup is? Mm. Even though it's been moved by months ago, you should know where it is by now, but they don't. They don't. Exactly. But we can't tell them, well, you should know where it is by now. We have to be professional about it. You have to be. That's uh, that's a problem. Um, I get effort. There are people, modders, without even a full suite of tools, and some employees who put so much effort into their own work in their own time. I've had people ask if I'm buying this route to provide an EP. The answer is no. I've done it for some older trains in world routes, but Five Circle Line is a 2024 route and as such should look like it's built in UE4, which I presume is an en Unreal uh, Engine 4, I think that is. Yeah. But not Roblox. That's harsh. Yeah. But accurate. Texturing. Roblox or Robrox? Roblox. <laughs> What's Roblox nowadays? I haven't a clue. Texturing ground oh, materials. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. That's uh, probably it. Texturing ground materials, foliage, the replacing. There's no variation in any of your assets. If those were improved, it would look so much better. The 170 hammer does look great and performs as I expect, but there is no way I'll get this DLC just for the train. It is right. I have decided too that I will only buy the DLC once significant improvements have been made and actually affects the entire landscape design and its scenery, including buildings. Yeah, perfect. See, I wouldn't even put the HSTs on there. I wouldn't. What? Oh yeah, you would have put the HSTs as well, yeah. Because the HSTs were on that line. <coughs> they do. They do. And then someone really, in fact, you know what? Oh my God, what is that? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show this, uh, I'm going to show this as well. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. Make a note of that. Um, just make a note of it somewhere for me, um, yeah. will you? Uh, we're going to put this photo up uh, right about... I don't know, when should we... Uh, when should we you're just going to put it on there, are you? So I'm going to put it on right about now. You can see this point that's about to be made. I mean, the picture speaks for itself about what is off but even more so why aren't the already existed higher quality assets present in other routes being used trades in world looks like this in 2024 is not acceptable at all that looks like microsoft trade simulator it does and it, that was built in the 90s it does the same is true for the timetable i'm assuming the missing services for the line of preserve for the 158 which is fine but why did it not include ecs moves to and from haymarket depot I've made my own timetable and I know how much effort it takes to make them. That doesn't mean this should be omitted from a paid product. Correct. Mm. Absolutely correct. Uh, this one though, this one got... Th this is where the... Not um, the harsh comments come in, but the painful truth comment comments come to that um, obnoxious yeah. statement. Any experienced route builder with a bit of pride in their work would have taken one look at that and decided, no, that's not the picture I'm trying to paint. And yes, I've built routes myself in years gone by for other sims. Sometimes you have, you do cut the odd corner, end up with the odd house partly sunk into the terrain, but not right next to the track or not even a garden fence or hedge in sight. Plonking buildings down on bare terrain with no detail around them with something we did for freeware uh, on MSTS, Microsoft Trade Simulator, I assume, over 20 years ago. Yeah, MSTS is Microsoft yeah. Trade Simulator. And should not be acceptable as a 2024 retail product. All I can think is that the route was built by someone with little or no knowledge of the processes involved to achieve realistic looking surroundings or to throw back unacceptable 3D modelling to the author. 
you would almost think the root build was outsourced to a low-cost consultancy with no real knowledge of the subject, simply working to maps or aerial views. So far as Jasper's statement is concerned, I'm staggered he even needs to be told what is wrong with the route, and with all due respect, this mirrors exactly what was said about all other subpar projects from the company, most of which have never been fixed. Exactly! Exactly! See, I would love to go on there <clears> myself <throat> and say, well, you're based in Scotland, you have access to all this stuff, why are you not capitalising on it? Exactly. Exactly. You could just get a train from Stirling to Dundee and then go down the Fife that way. It's like... It's not rocket science. You, you probably have cars that you just like drive there in 10 minutes. Yeah. And have a look for yourself. Exactly. Exactly. The, 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 the fact that they're in Scotland as well, it, it annoys me. Um, thank you for the update and the video with the announcements. I think the problem is having seen what can be achieved with the Blackpool Branches route and the Goblin Line. Your scenery looks very basic. This was an issue with West Cornwall Local. It's never been addressed apart from the far improved St Michael's Mount and Truro Cathedral. And to be fair, the Isle of Wight, particularly the revamped version, was superb. You say you have addressed some of the issues such as closed buildings, fair enough. But I will reserve judgment until I've seen some third-party videos from EG Megasim before deciding whether to purchase this or not, particularly since I'm an Xbox user and you say the improvements may not be in the initial release. You did a great job with the fourth bridge though, so obviously they did the fourth bridge right. <clears throat> Mind you, do the ambassadors get the game today? I'll get onto that uh, in a second. I'll get onto that uh, in a second. Okay. Um, it's a route that generates mixed feelings. It seems to have started well, only to then get lost in what uh, should be the true heart of the circle. Poor assets, black grass and foliage, questionable checkers and models. The 170 is fine. Oh, I forgot the timetable. Half the services are missing. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Come on, Jasper. Stop trying to act like you can't see why he's off with the whole thing bar the bridge is off. It's like they spent all their time on one aspect of the route and completely neglected the rest of it. I've seen better looking houses and vegetation on mobile games. Um, so I'm keeping an eye on the time because we're coming up to uh, the first half here. This, By the way, we've got a yellow signal here. We do, yes. I think we're coming up to Redwood uh, and sidings. This, this uh, one here from another well-known member, I think it's Great Western because he's uh, got a 10 turbo as his um, thingy. This is an extremely unprofessional way to address your customers. Many of those in the community do fully understand the effort required to make a route as exemplified by the release of the PC editor and the many mods and enhancement packs that the community have released. And even if some don't understand the effort required, anybody could look at the Goblin DLC that released last week and clearly see the Five Circle looks like rubbish in comparison. It's quite obvious the development of the Five Circle was either rushed and or little effort was put into the timetable or scenery. And if it's true that the Rivet team did put all their effort into the route, then with all due respect, Rivet doesn't know how to develop for trains in world. First time developers such as uh, Trains in Germany and Just Trains delivered fabulous first routes for trains in world. There's no excuse for Rivet to be releasing a route in that state considering their years of experience in trains in world development. Again, absolutely bang on the nose. And plus it's like with um, Skyhawk <coughs> days when they did the mid the May line. Yes. Yes, they did get it wrong originally, but they acknowledged that and got it all corrected. And, and you know what? The next comment brings that up. You've, you've segued perfectly. Pretty much every single time there's a preview stream with issues and bugs, I tell myself the same thing. And sure enough, every single time release date comes, it shows up with the exact same problems it has in the preview. So the next question is, how long will the issues take to be actually fixed? It's hit and miss. Dovetail games sometimes fix these things almost immediately, but they then leave other issues six months to a year before they ever get fixed. Skyhook, in my opinion, they impressed lately. The middle of mainline loot had issues, although nothing terrible at launch, but since then they've done a pretty good job in not only fixing bugs, but also adding improvements and polish in general. They've earned a new reputation. In fact, the fact that a Skyhook 158 is coming to this route now may be the redeeming factor. Rivet, I cannot comment on. I've not bought any of their routes since the Isle of Wight 2022, which I liked, and so can only go what is mentioned on the forums. I think we'll leave it there for the moment, because we're coming up to um, half time. 
but there, there's more rivet bashing to come, folks. There, there's oh, more. Oh yes, there, there is more. From from the sounds of it, this route, um, this route, the five circle, it may not even come to the channel. I may even just decide, you know what, just bid all the rivet DLCs. I'm, I'm done with them. They'll never come to the channel ever again. Which is a waste of money, in my opinion, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just not, um, it's not good. We're still not finished yet. We're still not finished. Oh, there's a massive... It's massive. And I mean, it's massive. What are we, about halfway... Um, Halfway through the forum. Halfway through it. Um, oh, is it forum or thread? Thread, that's it, yeah. Um, yeah, we did that one. Uh, we did that one. There, here we are. We're up to, we're up to this one. Um, so what then goes, uh, what a shocking way to speak to your customers. We are your business. Without us, you would have to shut up shop. This is a really poor statement to make on a sort of apology post. Just goes to show how much you care in my eyes. Many companies would almost definitely be in serious trouble at my old job if you put the company in a bad light on social media. It was instant dismissal. You're frustrated, I get it, but at the same time, it's not like trolls are just posting rubbish. It is literally the whole community disappointed in your DLC. If you release this route in the same kind of state as the new Overground route or the Blackpool line, you will be getting praise, just as Dust, Dovetail and Just Trains have. But you must know how people feel, and frankly, are you even going to fix any of the issues? If you read around, nobody trusts Rivet to fix a thing. We're still waiting on the 150 fix that was promised three years ago. Exactly. Speaks for itself. Um, here's, here's another one. L literally, they all took that statement and, and ran with it. Above all, this statement is one thing, quite condescending towards the paying customers and the larger part of the modders who are making the bad DLC better in the end, and that is after delivering such an inferior product. It shows a certain contempt for your community, which doesn't just offer praise or slight criticism. Sorry. We are not here to criticise small things that could be neglected, a missing trash can here, a floated object, or an unhung PIS there it doesn't matter or well, that a few trolls want to badmouth the thing no it's about the very basic things like a very poorly designed track in the beta state that it shouldn't have been shown or published in at all what do you expect rivet that after this stream you believed that everything would be okay again no what we saw will happen in almost all parts i'm sure in order to make really better really make five circle line better a complete overhaul of the entire route is required and I hardly believe that this can or will be achieved. Even if Rivet were to tackle this, it would take weeks or even months. The fact they are sticking with the publication despite everything tells me, eat or die. The only right decision would be to delay the DLC until it meets Trains in World 4 standards. Why wasn't this done? Why were two GB DLCs released so quickly after each other? I don't understand, it makes no sense, especially after the Goblin line. And plus we did say that Rivet moved it, they moved it to the zero to three months. Yes. And we said it was going to be rushed. You, you said it would go rushed, and what happened? It's rushed. Yeah. It's rushed. And now we're all going to uh, pay for it. I don't imagine Rivet having a PR department, but they seriously hacked off if an employee came out and spoke to their customer base like that. Rivet, you've been rumbled. And let's be honest, it wasn't hard to see the glaring inadequacies of the root ballast timetable assets to mention, but a few things. To suggest we're mostly ignorant to what goes into a route is quite frankly astonishing. Many of us have worked on routes in Trains in World Classic and modded for Trains in World or other projects that have modded and we know what's acceptable and most importantly what's not from a software release. This is not acceptable in its current form. Yeah. <coughs> All you need to do right is to get a cab ride video from off the five circle. Yes. A proper cab ride video compare it to that and then you'll see the difference um happy to be corrected but i believe jasper who was the person who made that comment is their community manager which would be the pr department and if that's the case that's even worse that's even worse yeah yeah if someone said there look what's the next comment in that case that would make what he said even worse yeah 
Reminds you of the launch of the Xbox. Oh, no, I talked about the Xbox there. <laughs> um, we know Rivet can make good content. We've seen it. Okay, is, which is, is, is this where we put John Travolta up there? He's like... Uh, yeah. And people are frustrated because they want this to be good. It's a fantastic route choice and you have the platform to make something amazing. You've got a whole route's worth of stock to create variably, build the depots, create stock moves, etc. And then basically told people to do it themselves in free road. When just trains release platform branches, with that timetable, with all that variety, they put the time and effort into getting it right. They just didn't just turn around and go, free road! And as a result, we got, in my opinion, the best route we've ever had. Fact. Fact. And plus, you know what? Join us next Sunday for the Blackpool Branches route. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. And plus, one thing about that route is that was set in the 80s. Yes. So you had to go through a lot of old maps, a lot of old images, a and, lot of research. And they still got it. I would say, what? No, you... I won't say 100% spot, and let's go with, say, 90, 95, 99 yeah. in that area. There's still a few little diggles, but it's still a fantastic route. They had to do a lot of research on that route to get it right. Yes. And technically, they did. People are frustrated. It feels like Rivian has shown us a route that feels like it's half finished. They have a notorious history for not following up on their content, so the community is quite rightly unhappy with the same things. I like many of the other that want Rivet to get it right. We know Rivet can do a fantastic job. Isle of Wight 2022 and Beneath the Line. Debatable. Debatable. Isle of Wight 2022, we may give them that one. Yeah. Uh, but we have so much potential. If you guys could take a leak of that sky hook, Adams is still plugging away on the Midland Mayline tree, posted updates and checking bugs out. That shows what sky hook's like. Yeah. But he's there in the forums. Oh, this is still these are right. not this. This, this. So he's making a note in the forums. Exactly. Like and the niggles out. Just trains his book has been a little more interactive on the feedback page. But and you show you're actively working on improving the content you've released to go a long way to repair Rivet's reputation. Don't worry, because they're, that's just stupid. Um, yes, the announcements are all wrong as well. You know how a Scott Rail 170 announcement goes when they arrive at the station? Uh, not on top of head though, but. It goes, we are now approaching blah blah blah. Yeah. Right? There's goes. Boo, boo. The next station is. Sorry, is that a TFL announcement? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, um, who does that? The next station is. Oh, it's one of the modern trains, is it? Um, it's one of them. Uh, Oh, I think Northern. Now everyone is saying Matt actually got the wrong build. Doesn't matter if it's the wrong build or not, you showed up to work with the wrong build. Yeah. And if it's the wrong build, that should have been stated in the live stream. It should have been, absolutely, I uh, agree. Uh, no, here's where I was on about with um, brand ambassadors. Uh, brand ambassadors getting updated builds or getting the build that was meant to be on stream for Monday's preview reviews. Not sure if they're getting the versions of the requested editions like better timetable, blah blah blah. Um, not entirely sure. Trust. Oh, not sure. I entirely trust ambassadors getting a complimentary copy to give a completely unbiased report. Unfortunately, that's what brand ambassadors do. They have to uh, be unbiased. Unbiased. Although it's part of their contract. One of the UK ambassadors been very vocal that the DLC was boring to them. So I guess you'll need to see what uh, they say when it releases. I want to know who that guy is. I want to know who that guy is. He's my kind of guy. I wonder if it was the British Ace. It wouldn't surprise me if it was. Is he a good YouTuber or a bad one? British Ace is... Uh, he's commented on a couple of my videos. Ah. He has commented. No, it's all right. It was a YouTuber. Uh, saying something is boring is not the same as pointing out errors of quality or substandard model. Yeah, that's a uh, point. Uh, don't suit the major, I don't know what the content of the video is the best way, yeah, okay. Oh, here we go. I, uh, I think the whole concept that Ambassador class getting everything for free is, for streaming is questionable. DTG themselves are doing the preview streams, but the DLC is out, many other streamers are showcasing the content. While these Ambassadors are getting everything for free, the hard-working bodders improving the game and fixing bugs are no largely unnoticed. 
and if someone finds a route boring, one could question if railroading itself is not a boring and repetitive thing. Yeah. <laughs> See, if I if I was an ambassador for uh, trying out a new route, I would be honest about it, not biased about it. Yeah, I would give you, and, and I mentioned this to uh, to someone. I said, "You want um, honest and uh, thingy? Come to come look at my uh, stream." Because literally this whole video so far, we've been going probably about 45, 50 minutes, has been nothing but rivet bashing. Maybe you should put that in the thumbnail, rivet bashing. <laughs> rivet bashing. Oh, what, find a, find a <clears throat> picture of a rivet, me and you above it. Rivet bashing. <laughs> Although, we'll get the rivet logo have up top. Yes. Well, they'll probably get copyrighted by rivet. <laughs> Uh, I find Dad Rail and Train Sim TV are both fairly good at being honest and constructive. Personally, though, do I watch? Come see me. <laughs> Mind you, I did see a bit of uh, Dad Rail last week. Yeah. I like how he's done his streams, though, because he's actually uh, got some of that interacts with the audience as well. Mm. Oh, that train spotter from uh, Taranga, that uh, Kiwi or Aussie one. Oh, yes. They, mentioned it, they say he's very, he's very critical and very fair as well. Oh, edit. Yeah, inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, I, I think then uh, from then on it goes. Um, oh, here we go. What an utterly arrogant statement from a company that has already made a bad name for himself. It seems as ever it's simply a case of throw it together, chuck it out the door, and get somebody as soon as possible. Dovetail like Rivet now seems to be going down this route. Rush it out the door, promise updates that the companies will know will never be released to grab the money. I hope both companies will soon realise that people these days are no longer willing to spend their money on half-finished junk. The economy has changed and these companies are stuck in the past with their arrogant, money-grabbing, shoddy, workmanship business models. That's uh, bent someone over. The business model is doomed for failure in the current economic views. You will never get... Oh, yeah. He's right. He's talking about a bastard again. You'll never get completely unbiased. You will if you come here. We're not ambassadors, but we are unbiased. If we don't like something, we will point it out. We will point it out. Like with the big the May line where we went through Loughborough. I said, yeah. I said, that bridge is not right. You said that bridge is not right. And that is true. That is very true. But uh, the, they did fix that and now it's right. Exactly. As, as we've uh, just uh, said, I think it, uh, give credit to Rivet. They, this time they seem to be open for player feedback. Well, why weren't they open from it from the very beginning? It's because they've realised... Big hole. Um, Edinburgh... See, what's this here, look? Oh, that's how Dunfermline... Ta Dunfermline City yes. station should look like. That's how Inverkeeping should look like. That's right, yes. And both look absolutely nothing like. Because the balance of them comes from Cloban Quarry. Wherever that is. I imagine it's um, somewhere. Like you said, Cornwall probably got their balance from Melton Quarry, yeah. which is near Oakhampton. So there were a lot of balance trades during the 90s. That's there were, yeah. I think uh, the rivet bashing then. Uh, Stops, uh, then they all start to uh, turn it on themselves uh, <laughs> as to uh, who the best ambassador is. Probably a few racial slurs, it added. <laughs> you know, the typical, like. Yeah. Uh, I don't condone racial slurs, but. No, we don't, but uh, I, I can assure you there's no, um, there's no racial slurs happening. Uh, yeah, you know, like that kind of thing, you know, like there's a. Like on Twitter, you get your. Serious complaints, and then you get someone just bashing them in general. A few swear words, and that's about it. Yeah, abso uh, absolutely. Where did mine go? That oh, there's been more. Uh... There's been more. Oh, there's someone liked. Uh, somebody liked my uh, thing there. Not everyone understands the effort that goes to murder. Uh, yes, apparently neither do rivet. See you later, Ballon. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. Um, now I can't. Um, oh. I'll get to. Yeah, you gotta lift the microphone up. So if the microphone has to go up, you be elevated, folks. You raise me up, and I can't sing a fucking lick. 
I think that's the first F bomb we've used as well, isn't it? We're about an hour into this uh, recording. No, I'm sure there's a few F bombs that were made pointing at Rivet. Oh yeah, probably, uh, probably were a few F bombs pointing in uh, Rivet's direction. But yeah, no, it's um, so who who liked that actually? Um, oh, Old Vern uh, liked uh, that as well. I'll, I'll put my um, basically. I'll put my thoughts. Um, what we should actually be saying is. It's fuck you, Ribbit, and the horse you rode in on. Then fuck that horse that came in the stable after you fucked it. Yeah, you you could um, you could say that, but no, everything addressed is absolutely right. We you said this as soon as it was moved into the zero to three section, it was going to be said rushed. That it was, looks like it's going to be rushed. And hey, presto, bingo, bango, it's rushed. It's a classic Rivet problem. They need to turn around. I'm, I'm really sorry, right? I don't care if this costs us ambassadorship. I don't care at this point, right? As a casual player of this game, a game that we have played now for what? Uh, five iterations? Probably. Trains in World, Trains in World Rush Hour, or did Trains in World 2 come out for a rush hour? Probably two. Two came out for a rush hour, then Trains in World Rush Hour. Yeah. Train to World 3, Train to World 4. So yeah, five iterations. There, yeah. was, there wasn't one in between, was there? No, I don't think there was. No, no. As, as a casual player who plays this on our channel to bring a little bit of joy, a little bit of entertainment on everyone's Saturdays and Sundays, it gets to a point where you have to say to yourself, when is enough going to be enough? And if Rivet are allowed to continue, fair enough, right? I will backtrack after playing the scenario on the Benin line. I will backtrack on what I said. Some of that route does actually look quite spectacular. I am willing to backtrack, but you have to admit there have been other times when they have put routes out and it's like, yeah, no, that'll do. And it's wrong. It is. West Cornwall local, someone brought it up there. How long have we been waiting for the 150s to be fixed? Three years now, three years, and they're still not fixed. And then when somebody brings it up in a stream, they get talked down to like uh, they've been the Antichrist or something. You don't do that. At the end of the day, Rivet, whether you like what we are about to say or not, we are your customers. You are supposed to be promoting a product to your customers. If that product is not acceptable, then we're going to go back and we're going to say, no, sorry. But see, look, there's a plane right there high in the sky. And that's on the Peninsula Corridor. This one. That's so high up. That was high up there. That was high up. That's Trades in World 2, I think, Peninsula Corridor. And they still were able to put planes in at Edinburgh Airport. London. We oh, sorry, um. And on whatever. the corridor. On the British corridor. Look at London Commuter. That's a Trades in World 2 rush hour route as well. And they've got planes there. I believe, um, what's the, um, oh, what's the one that came out with uh, this game, the American route? Oh, what's it called? Antelope Valley. Yeah. That has planes in there as well. You can't have an expanse like Edinburgh Airport there and say, yeah, we're going to do nothing with it. In this day and age, it's just not acceptable. And I'm, what I'm about to say is probably really, really going to hurt a lot of people. I don't want to play in five circle. I know we hype this route up, we hype it up as big is, but if that's how it is, then I'm sorry. I would, I would much rather want to put my effort into another route which gives a shit. We'll wait till we get the five circle reduced out. I'll wait till we get the five circle reduced down exactly. And then play it. Yeah. The only problem is though, I've put five circle in the um, in the book already, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Unless you want me to take 30 quid off you. So I was like, no, give me my 30 quid, bitch. <laughs> you, you can't see what I see. I know. His eyes go. Money, 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 money. I think the thing is though, yeah. Do, do we expect, as the casual player, to be given a 100% perfect route? No. Do, do we at least expect a route that looks authentic, like you're playing something from that area? 
yes. What we don't expect is for to be handed a product that it's like right here we go. Uh, I'm going into Asda. I'm going to buy a packet of cheese and onion crisps. Yeah. I've opened the bag. There's salt and vinegar. Actually, probably not um, a fair assessment because some crisp brands have salt and vinegar packet colours as the cheese and onion. Yeah. So hold on, let's go with um. Ah, go on, go on. Right. That's me. Come to Asda. I open up a pack. I get a pack of prawn cocktail Pringles. Yes. I like me some prawn cocktail Pringles. Right? Guilty pleasure, I know. I then open the tub up. Open it up. It's cheese and onion flavour. Or the sour cream flavour. Not good, but still okay. Am I disappointed that it's not prawn cocktail Pringles? Yes. Yes, because he does prawn cock. You just had to go there, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Also, rumours about that are not true and unfounded. Please, uh, please apologise for misrepresenting me. No. Okay. <laughs> you carry on with that, are Yeah, no. Am I disappointed I didn't get my prawn cocktail Pringles? Yes. Will I still eat the sour cream Pringles? Yes. But I would have wanted the prawn cocktail Pringles because that's what I paid for. When I buy, if I was to buy Rivet Games' Five Circle line, I expect to be given the Five Circle line. I don't expect to be given something that it looked like a two-year-old did. And I mean a two-year-old. My, I bet Simon could have done better and he has no root development ideas at all he has no background in anything like that and he could put out a better five circle than that and what's really really going to be sad is it's going to be the modders and it's going to be the other casual or hardcore players that end up fixing this route for people and are they going to get one bit of thanks no Simon's um, looking at something here. What's um... this? Is not the one I was looking for, but this is a good example. This is a good example, yes. Like someone tried to re recreate that photo there with this route. Yes. Yes, it looks different, but it almost looks the same. It almost looks the same, exactly. But what we want with, and that's what we want with this route. We want, we don't want exactly perfect. We want almost looks the same. We don't want, but it could be the same. We want absolute, almost looking the same. That is what we're saying. Simon's still looking at uh, DLC here. What have I got going on the side of me here? Yeah, it's all right. I was looking for something, but I don't think I could find it. Because someone was doing the uh, docks around Liverpool. Yeah. The Albert Docks. That's a train tip, yeah. I know, I know what you're trying to uh, say here, yeah. Have you found it yet? No. Posts. Uh, New release Sim Classic. Where's its mainline? Which one's that one? That's for Train Sim Classic. Uh, where's that going? Oh, Salisbury. Southampton Salisbury. Yeah, it's an extension of. Uh... Very nice. Um... But yeah, when we play next week, we've got the Varala Bird next week, which Dovetail made themselves, which is an absolutely fantastic route. And I mean absolutely fantastic. So basically, the, the post I was going to show you was that somebody was trying to recreate the local docks area, like the Albert Dock. Yeah. And they just grabbed a load of buildings together to make it. Yeah. And it doesn't look perfect, but at least they gave it a good go. Exactly. And that, it, I think, is the point. That is, the, I think, the point that we're trying to make. We don't want perfect. Lord knows if you... Ah, I think I know which one it is now, actually. Yeah. Lord knows if you create the absolute most perfect route possible, then quickly get yourselves hired by Dovetail, because they'll ever want your DLCs um, at no... Uh, problem, but we're asking for 
something that's at least. Now, here we go here. So, this is actually a thick squeeze shot of a fictional route. Yeah. See, I look at that route right there. I want to play that route. And that's a fictional route. And that's a fictional route. That, that's, that look there looks like someone's took the time, took the effort to put something into it. And I would want to play that. I really would want to play that. I can't because we don't have a PC. Speaking of our PCs, um, getting old and starting to show its... Uh, yeah. I don't think it's... Um... It, it's fine if you, um, if you can't see it, show it, it's fine. See, someone tried to create a um, bender here. Where? On the Isle of Wight. On the Isle of Wight. the extension from Shanklin. Oh, yes. That's not perfect, but that's pretty close. It's exactly. <coughs> a lot of people who build routes in Trace Simulator Classic, they use the freeware stuff. Yes. Which can be a bit of a pain in the rear end. Pain in the rear end is a bit basic, it's a bit outdated, but they still use it, but they can create some good stuff with it. Exactly. And I think that is the point we're trying to convey as customers of Dovetail, of Rivet, of Just Trains, of Skyhook, um, uh, who else, uh, Trains in Germany, except all, all the developers that do this, right? We don't want perfect, but we want as close to perfect as you can get. Yes. That, that post I brought up, uh, the odd building out of place here, the odd shrub out of place here, that's fine. Yeah. But don't give us something that it looks like I, I did on an Etch-a-Sketch. Or, or Rob Rocks. Or, or, Rob or Rocks. Roblox, exactly. Or Minecraft. Or Minecraft. Absolutely. It's, it's just not, unfortunately, acceptable. And... Oh, we're in uh, the yard now. We're not quite in the yard yet. We've got a... We, well, we are in the yard now. We're dropping the... Um, we've dropped the thing off. But now we're we're heading into Santa Clarita Depot because uh, we're done for the day. Like if I, I always <coughs> wanted to build a route for Trace Basic Classic. Exactly. But my route building is probably not as good as some people are. Exactly. That that's why I'm saying you could have probably done a better job with the five circle. You probably could have done. I probably most likely painted the fourth rail bridge in green. You probably would have done knowing you because you're a great Western boy. But what, what we're saying is, right, for Jasper to come out of Rubik Games with that statement, that's arrogance. It's like, that, oh yeah, we're listen, but tough shit. Yeah, that's saying we build what we want to build. And at the end of the day, it shouldn't be we build what we want to build. It should be dove, the buck stops with Dovetail. If Dovetail don't see it right, back to you it goes. Yeah. It's like, um, oh, what was that game? Oh, there was a game that came out. Um, it's, I'm not thinking of Cyberpunk here, am I? I may be thinking of um, of Cyberpunk here when um, when I say this. That game came out riddled with bugs. And we mean riddled with bugs. Could have been Cyberpunk. It could have been Cyberpunk 2077. It came out absolutely riddled with bugs left, right, and centre. It's like the um, recent Call of Duty that came out. Was it Modern Warfare 3? Modern Warfare 3, yeah. That came out with bugs, and it came out with a bug that you know, had a limited amount of plays in multiplayer. Oh, no, 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 that's when that's when they add the uh, DLC on that, that that happens. That's when... Oh, so over. that's the bugs for the DLC. That's the bugs of the DLC. Ah. Yeah, that's the bugs of the DLC. Well, you would have thought they checked the D DLCs out before they get released. Yeah, no, but Cyberpunk 2077 came out so riddled with bugs, it was unbelievable. And the devs, as soon as they heard the player feed, right, look, we messed up here. We, we messed up big time. So what did they do? They went back, they took the game back, they fixed what they could, they were like, okay, there's some stuff here we can't fix yet. It's going to take some time. Players were like, okay, that's fine. Here it comes a few a few, um, few weeks, few months later. And now Cyberpunk 2077 is the playable game that it should be. 
That's all we're asking you. That's all we're asking you, right? We're not asking. Someone tells me just trains his next route will probably end up not being. It'll still be brilliant, but it won't be as good as Blackpool Branches. Something tells me that Skyhook's next DLC will probably be as good as the Midland Mainline, but not close enough. That's fine. But don't keep setting the bar so low that that is what you expect your players to think. If, if I walked into his Asda, right, after I bought my prawn cocktail Pringles, and I said to him, but these aren't prawn cocktail, these are cheese and onion, what would he say to me? I'd say go to the customer service desk, desk and they will sort you out. Exactly. That's what he would say. He's not saying, I can't help you, but he's saying, if you go see these guys, they'll well, Technically, help. I can't help you, but I'm basically giving you the best advice I can. Exactly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. But then, it's almost like Rivet are not... Uh, I'm not putting that uh, across it. It's almost like Rivet had just had the uh, idea. Ah, it's good enough for us. See you later. It, my videos here are an absolute brilliant example. Well, it's just their hour videos because Saturdays and Sundays are our time. Yeah. Sorry. When we put these videos out, these videos are unedited. If I put, say, an F1 video out and I sat back and I looked even had one little hint that, to myself that could be improved. I go back and I do the whole thing again. Yeah. I do the whole recording again. Because I live by the crew it's not good enough for me, it's not good enough for everyone that watches this video. And I mean that from the bottom of my bleeding soul I mean that. But when you have Rivet that come out with that statement, oh if you think you can do better, do it. That is arrogance, that is obnoxicity, and that shows a complete lack of respect for your customer base. And quite frankly, Dovetail Games should turn around, see that statement and say, that's enough, fuck off. Exactly. That's exactly what they should be telling them. Because I guarantee you, right, I guarantee you, if they gave that route to Skyhook, Skyhook I'd be like, right, give us two weeks, it's fixed. Yeah. Two weeks later, here it comes, and it looks practically spot on. But then you have Rivet, who've had this in the pipeline for ages, and it's like, yeah, no, that's good enough for us. And the worst part about it is they've got the country, they're, they're in the country they're, that they're in. They're, they're in the, the area. They're in the area. And for them to turn around and say, oh, we went out, well, you didn't, obviously. Because you got the Turbo Star wrong, that's basic. And, like, got... and that's why I said earlier, Turbo Star's coming to Stirling Station. Exactly. Turbo Stars at the moment in ScotRail are the life force of the diesel multiple unit network in Scotland with the 158, admittedly. But to turn around and say that that's acceptable when we've We've, the last 10, 15 years, we've rode on turbo stars practically daily. We know what one sounds like. Yeah. That sounds not. As soon as I saw that preview of the 170, I was like, that's not right. And I was proven right. And I said the gangways were too big. And you were proven right. Absolutely proven right. We've got to the end of the scenario, folks. Thank you for listening to... No, that's... Go on, sorry. Sorry, but I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> you forgot what yeah. you were going to say. I think this route actually is the perfect example. As soon as I reported the issue, Dovetail were like, okay, yeah, sorted, brilliant. It took them a bit of time, but they fixed it. I think what it needs is people need to contact Rivet themselves and ask why. I need to contact, Do you know, not, not writing a forum, literally contact Dovetail Game personally and say, why you kept, kept Rivet on? Yeah, they, they do. Why do you can keep consistently saying to, to Rivet? You know, I like make a formal letter about it and see what they say. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do in the, in the break when I write this up. Because uh, I have a lot that um, I want to say about it. But there's a trophy for doing that scenario, which is fantastic. And that is the end of the scenario, Ballasting Act. 
So yeah, thank you again for listening to that. I, I hope and I pray that when we do get the five circle proper, it isn't that monstrosity that we got. And if it is playable, then we'll bring it. But if not, then you know why. <sighs> do you have anything you want to add? Because... Although we play it, just bash the whole thing. We, we could do. We, we could do, uh, and then what, never play it again. Once it's done all... I don't know. No, exactly. Anyway... See you next week for the Vorarlberg. He gets the final word of it. I'm done for the uh, for the whole session. Ribbit are just so shit. They are.